Oh, David, by David Shannon. This is a Diaper David book. So maybe uh, for younger readers. This is cute. Look at these pictures. David's mommy always said, Oh, David. Oh, David. What did David do? He's wearing some new clothes, huh? <laughs> Open up, Davy. I don't want it, he says. What's he eating? P.U. P.U. And what did he do? <laughs> Hold still! This is a funny picture, huh? He has his arms and legs through the wrong holes, and his mom is trying to dress him. Go to sleep, David! He loves being awake, doesn't he? He knows he's supposed to sleep. Looks like his teddy bear is awake, too, huh? And it's time to go to bed. Oh, David, I love you. This is cute. Look at the book. There's a little doggy sleeping. Is this the same dog from other David books? Have you seen this dog before? Looks like mom is ready for bed, too. David just needed his mom, didn't he? That's a nice story. At the end, always, I love you. The end. There's another um, David Diaper book, Diaper David book, called Oops. And this one is called Oh, David. So this is called Oops. What's the last Diaper David book? Do you remember? Have you read it? David's first words were ball. Ball. Look at that. And what did David do? <laughs> you think he threw it or kicked it? I wonder. I think he kicked it. What do you think? And then he says, uh oh. When I was a kid, I had a fishing pole and I cast the line through uh, the basement window. I was out in the yard and I cast the line. There was a big weight on the end of the fishing line. And I cast the line through the window. And my dad came out and he, he said, what did you do? And I said, nothing. <laughs> I lied to him. <laughs> but he could see that the line was going through the window. <laughs> Have you ever lied about uh, throwing anything through a window or breaking something? Have you ever done that? Or do you have any stories about breaking something like this? Like David here? I wonder what David would say to his mom. Dog. Oops. Uh -oh. What did he do here? He spilled some macaroni and cheese on his dog. You ever spilled anything on an animal <laughs> before? <laughs> How about on the floor? <laughs> I, I have another story about my dad. He dropped a glass of milk onto the floor and you know usually when you drop a glass onto the floor it breaks or falls over, right? But this glass of milk stood up perfectly on the floor. And my family told that story for many years after that. That was kind of funny. But in this case, no. There's no bowl, there's no plate. <laughs> Just macaroni. You think David did that on purpose? You got any stories about that? Ride. Whee! You ever ridden on a tricycle like this? this? Is a tricycle? It's got three wheels. You have one of these, or did you have one of those when you were a kid? Look at the manhole cover over here. I remember I was uh, riding on a tricycle at my friend's house in the forest, and there was a trail going down through this forest. And I, my friend was a real uh, country boy. He was really uh, comfortable with the forest environment. And I think he was comfortable going really fast on his tricycle because we had two 
tricycles, we were maybe eight or nine years old, and we went up to the top of this big hill and came down super fast. And I remember how scary that was. But he's not scared, is he? He's having fun. Hmm. You ever had a scary ride before? You ever had a scary ride on a tricycle or on a bicycle? Eat. Yum. Look at this. Was that cereal there? Looks like some kind of... What is that? I don't even know what that is. Maybe meat, huh? Hamburger or something? What's your favorite kind of cereal? What do you like most of all? Look at this spaghetti over here. You like spaghetti? As a kid, I think I like spaghetti. And I love cereal. My favorite cereal was uh, Lucky Charms. I love that stuff. The marshmallows in there. My sister and I would pick up all the marshmallows in one big bunch and then eat them all at the same time. <laughs> you ever eaten like this before? <laughs> Bath time. And what is David saying? Ah! <laughs> Why do you think David is saying, ah? <laughs> Look at his expression. Look at the expression on his face. What do you think he is doing in the bathtub? And look, the frog looks kind of like, what's the word like? A little bit embarrassed, I think. And the duck is just like, oh my goodness. Pirates are smiling. <laughs> what do you think David is doing in the bathtub? I think he's, uh, I think he might be relieving himself. Do you know what that means? And look at this, I got one more thing to show you. Look at this drain here. This is a um, old fashioned bathtub, I think. I don't know, do they make bathtubs like this anymore? When I was a kid, I used to take baths in a bathtub like this, with a switch like this, and it's uh, for the drain. You ever seen that before? Do you have that on your bathtub? I, I didn't know that, um, I, did, I don't know if bathtubs still have that or not. And this is the last picture, look at that. It's always with his mom or with his teacher or something like that, isn't it? And it says, Mama. Zzz. He's sleeping. And David's a sweet kid, isn't he? He's just a baby in this book. I like the way that David Shannon draws those fingernails there. And look at this. What's that kind of dog? Do you know, do you know what that dog is on his pajamas there? It's a firehouse dog. Traditionally, uh, in the United States, dogs like that would work at, I think they would work at fire stations. Anyway, they always show them in books and TV shows and everything. There's a fire truck on there. And he's going to, he's asleep now. And he's holding on to his mom. And that's the end of every David book, isn't it? He's getting love from somebody in his family or his community. That's nice. I hope you get love home at home too. David Smells by David Shannon and this is a diaper David book there's different kinds of David books right there's like uh, no David that's a classic the original David goes to school David gets in trouble and then there's I think grow up David is a origin is one of the bigger David books too but then David Shannon also wrote um, oh David and uh, oops and some I don't know if there are others, no? but these are diaper uh, David books. So this is a diaper David book, David Smells, by David Shannon. David, this is David, has five senses. He can see with his eyes, he can hear with his ears, he can touch with his hand, and he can taste with his tongue. Five senses. Seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting, and touching. Nice picture, huh? What's your favorite sense? Do you have a favorite sense? Do you like to smell things the best? Do you like to look at things the best? What's your strongest sense? Everybody has a strong sense. My hearing is really good. I can hear really well. 
My taste is not so good. My smell is not good at all. But I'm good at hearing, I'm good at touching. And I'm good at seeing too, but smell and taste are not good. What about you? What's your strongest? What's your weakest? What's your weakest sense? Touch. Leave him alone, David! Who says that? Who's saying that? In the other books, it's always his mom, isn't it? In one book, it's his teacher. Leave him alone, David! Who's he? Who's him? The dog, right? He wants to touch that dog, doesn't he? Look at his pure eyes, huh? He's such a pure little child. He just wants to touch the dog. Look at this, David. Shannon likes to draw outlets in his books. Did you notice that? I think that's kind of interesting. Did you ever try to touch animals when you were a little child? Well, David wants to touch. Sometimes children can be a little bit uh, rough with animals, can't they? I think David is going to be rough, too. Taste. Don't eat that! Uh-oh. What's this? I thought it was an apple when I saw it at first. But I don't think it's an apple, is it? It's a lollipop. You can see the stick here. And it's going into the candy. And it's a clear candy. And look at this. There's a leaf, a fly, some hair, some grass or something. A piece of paper. Oh, yuck. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> And David is like just waiting to taste that, isn't he? Don't eat that thing, man. Did you ever eat anything off the ground? <laughs> we, I remember when I was a child, we would say a five second rule or one second rule. And it's, it's, a, it's a funny thing when something falls on the ground, uh, you can eat it if it's five seconds. <laughs> Maybe David has that rule. That's funny. Are you stinky, David? Are you stinky, David? This is for smell. And what do you think is happening to little baby David here? What do you think he did? Hmm. Did he do something in his pants? <laughs> well, babies do that, don't they? Toddlers do that. Uh-oh. Now mom's got to change him. <laughs> That's why mom is asking, right? <laughs> Here. David, that's too loud. David, that's too loud. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? What's that thing? A snare drum? A drum? And what is this? A maraca up here? What's this? Like some kind of uh, um, blowing instrument, wind instrument? Tambourine down here. And then over here, there's one more thing a uh, xylophone, I think. And again, David Shannon loves these little pictures, doesn't he? Look at the detail. It's really wonderful. This looks like a telephone cord, or maybe for internet, back in the 1990s. And David has just two little teeth, doesn't he? I, I like the way David Shannon like does these uh, nostrils on the nose. I think it's cute. Man, look at that. David is loud. C. C. Peekaboo, Davy! And look at that smile. Such a such a pure smile. Such a such a young child. <laughs> That's cute. He's so happy. And it's a, it's really amazing. These pictures really capture the essence of childhood. I really like that about David's books. Look at that. You can really see the the joy. And this is just pencil, I think colored pencil maybe or or um, oil pencil maybe or something but man David Shannon really captures that that joy when I try to draw like this I certainly can't can't capture emotion like that when I talk I can but not when I draw well he, that's great he, he went through all this all the senses he went through um, sight smell hearing taste and touch he went through all the five senses Interesting, huh? That's cool. I think that's my favorite <laughs> smell. <laughs> so anyway, that's called David Smells, a David Shannon book. And this is a diaper David book, which is uh, for younger readers. But I liked it. I don't care how old I am. I like all these books. Hope you liked it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.